you can already see where offensive line coach Carmen Bricio is making a difference on the Las Vegas Raiders offensive line. Switching from zone blocking to power blocking is making them much more physical. While Colt Miller has been a franchise left tackle for a while now, left guard John Simpson and center Andre James came on at the end last year. That switch to power blocking helps Simpson get even better too, so the right side of the offensive line is what needs addressing. Lester Cotton stepped up and addressed the right guard position himself with the way he's playing right now, so what about right tackle? Not that he's any good or even a starter, but Brandon Parker is headed to IR. That's one less in the competition for the all-important right tackle position. The word is Parker tore triceps muscle lifting weights. That's definitely not the way I wanted to see him or anyone go out, but if we're being honest, he looked horrible in the preseason game last Thursday, so he has very likely played his last down for the Raiders. And as many of you know, Alex Leatherwood is the guy in the lead for the right tackle job. Did he look better than he has in the past? Yes. But did he look like a star first round tackle? I would have to say no. But he does have a performance that he doesn't have to be embarrassed about to build on for this week. Then maybe he can stack a few days and weeks to be ready for week one. Anyone that thought he was going to show up a fully polished product from day one had some unrealistic expectations. When that does happen, it's usually because the light came on at the end of the previous season, but that didn't happen with Leatherwood. If he gets it by week one, that's a great outcome, but he's more likely to get it around mid-season, and that's if he gets it at all. So I guess that's why a lot of Raider fans really want them to pick up a right tackle in free agency. Daryl Williams is the name I keep hearing, but I believe McDaniels and Bricio have a plan. There are a couple of other young guys in the fight for right tackle too, and if they along with Leatherwood can't develop in time for week one, we'll see Jermaine Illuminor at right tackle. Leatherwood and the youngsters have upside, but Illuminor has a much higher floor and the trust of the coaching staff. He was in New England with them and filled in nicely at right tackle, starting eight games in 2020. He's not spectacular, but he's solid, and at his worst, he'll give you minimum competency from the position. McDaniels and Bricio can trust that they'll at least get that out of them, so they're not in a hurry to bring in someone new off the streets. If you were paying attention, you saw he was steady in pass protection and in the run game against the Jaguars. He didn't really have any problems or struggle with anything either. He's the guy you want when you don't have the guy you really want. Parker is out for the rest of the season with that torn tricep, and I'm really sorry about that. Sincerely sorry about that. But we can't act like that's a problem on the team because it isn't. He was on his way to being buried on the depth chart. Leatherwood has been and still is the leader to be the starter at right tackle. And while he's much better than he was last year, he still has a ways to go. If he or the other youngsters behind him on the depth chart can emerge, we'll see a Luminor because he will give the Raiders minimum competency out of the position. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.